Hi everyone, my name is Kristen and welcome to my channel where we discuss an experiential approach to manifestation or as I like to call it, the law of reflection. So today I want to talk about one of my favorite teachings from A Course in Miracles actually and the teaching is that you're never upset for the reason that you think you are and earlier today when I found myself getting activated by something, I remembered this teaching as I often remind myself of it. And I didn't have an idea for today's YouTube video. So I decided maybe I will just talk about this instead because it's so applicable to our everyday lives. And it is really a teaching that we can use time and time again to bring us back to our awareness and to help us understand that we are not at the mercy of what appears to be the outside world. We are not at the mercy of circumstances or other people that nothing actually has the ability to make us feel anything at all. That our feelings, our perceptions are really what we have projected on to a situation. And that is what I want to talk about today. So the reason that you are not upset for the reason you think you are is because of this, because we project our own meaning onto things. And this meaning comes from the sense of self that we are embodying. So for example, let's say that somebody says no to you and you take this as a rejection. The idea of this being a rejection has nothing to do with the circumstance itself and everything to do with the sense of self that you have confused yourself to be. And that is why you perceive it as a personal rejection. And this is the case with any circumstance at all. Anything that we are in resistance to, anything that is bringing up negative feelings, it's making us feel a certain way. This is because we are not seeing it as it truly is. And we are instead seeing through the lens of the separate self and what it believes is happening to it. So an easy way to kind of decode this and see things as they truly are is Ask yourself, who are you being in response to this particular circumstance, to this experience that is making you feel an unpleasant way? Who are you being in response to that? And, and really slow it down and take a moment to just breathe into the body. Going within is always the first point of call for anything, because when we react to a circumstance, when a circumstance pulls us into a disempowered identification of self, what is happening there is that we have forgotten who we truly are as the divine and we have gotten caught up in the character. And not only that, a disempowered version of the character. So what we need to do in that moment is become still, relax the body, let out the breath, and really just relax and go within first. And this creates a little bit of distance um, between the self that is in reaction and the circumstance so that we're not reacting so quickly, so that we're not immediately um, trying to change the circumstance because we are reacting to whatever we have made it mean. So going within first, and just notice how the circumstance is making you feel on an emotional level. Is it making you feel angry? Do you feel sad? Do you feel defeated? Whatever it may be, you don't have to have the exact words. And then the next step would be to welcome and invite that in. Now, I know in the manifestation community, this might be seen as bad advice um, because the standard uh, dialogue in the community is to ignore how you're feeling, to ignore what you're thinking and pivot to something more favorable. In order to transmute these emotions, we actually have to feel them 
first otherwise they don't go anywhere they just end up running the show in the background or they come up later on because you didn't deal with it when it was available for you to deal with so feel into how it feels welcome it in and if it's particularly intense you may need to regulate your breath and this is not the same as spiraling in the emotion it's observing the emotion and calming the body down in response to it now as you feel that feeling whatever it may be even if there's no words for it then hold it in unconditional love now if you're not sure how to do that um, imagine that you are thinking of something that you already love that that love doesn't really waver something like a pet or um, a child something that is very easy to love with no resistance to it think of that in your mind and feel the love that you already have for that so the, the way that you were able to just generate that we, this is exactly what you would do with this disempowered self that is feeling a certain way. So as you feel that feeling, then just hold it and accept it in that same unconditional love. And again, if you have a hard time connecting to that, you can put your hand here on your heart or wherever the feeling or emotion is arising. If it's arising in the stomach, if it's arising in the chest, just breathe into that and hold it in unconditional love, completely accepting it for what it is right now. And that does not mean it's going to manifest more of it. It doesn't mean that you are resigning yourself to a circumstance you don't like. It This is actually you dropping the resistance to that circumstance by holding it in love. And do that for a few moments and just allow yourself to feel into that. And then ask yourself, am I able to let go of this perception right now that this is happening to me or that this person has done this to me? Am I willing to let go of these feelings and this perception right now? And even if it's just by 1%, then do it by 1%. If you can do it by 50%, go to 50%. And then try a little bit more and a little bit more. And keep relaxing into it each time. Take your time with it. There's no rush. It doesn't have to be um, done perfectly. So just feeling into that. Can I let this go right now? And can I choose peace and love instead of this? Now, in the same way that when I asked you before to imagine a pet that's very easy to love uh, with no resistance, do the same thing. Can I feel love in this moment right now? So you can even put your hand in the chest and just breathe into it. And an easy way that I like to open the heart chakra if it doesn't feel very open is that I imagine that God lives there. And imagine that it is with me, my awareness is with me at all times. And I breathe into that. And just take a few moments to feel into it. So you should already be feeling a little bit better. Now the goal is not to get rid of everything. The goal is just to reduce the resistance that you are having to the circumstance and to feel back into love. And from then on, you can also ask yourself other questions such as, what am I making this circumstance mean about myself? Then feel into that. So let's say it makes me feel worthless or it makes me feel disrespected. Allow that feeling to come up and then feel into it the exact same way and love it the exact same way. And then allow yourself to let go of it the exact same way. Because all that is happening is that circumstances that are arising are showing you these elements of self that are active within you. So it's not that you caused the circumstances 
because you feel unworthy or because you feel rejected or whatever the case may be. It's that the circumstances are a mirror showing you what is already there. And I know I say it all the time, but the mirror, when we look in the mirror, we are not creating, we're not causing our own face. The face we already have is being shown back to us. So when you see the circumstances or the experiences in the divine mirror you are not the cause of those circumstances the circumstances are showing you what is already within you through your reactions through the way it makes you feel through the feelings that come up in response to what you're seeing that is what the mirror is showing you so it's actually a lot more simple to understand the mirror than a lot of people realize and the reason that they struggle to decode what they're seeing is because they think it is a cause and effect relationship and this is why people ask the question how did I cause that well you didn't you didn't cause it so it's not that you caused it it's that the circumstance is showing you something about yourself that was not available to you before. And when I say available, I mean you were not consciously aware of it. So it's bringing it into your consciousness so that you can transmute it. And the reason for that is because when you transmute it, it brings you back to the truth of who you are as the divine and it brings you closer to experiencing your desires. So whenever you see a circumstance that you don't like and you feel in resistance to it, just remember the line that I'm not upset for the reason I think I am. In other words, I am not upset because somebody is doing something to me or because something is happening to me. I am upset because of the meaning that I have put on the situation. I am upset because of the identity of self that the situation draws me into. And then you create the point of pause by going within and examining it within the self. And then you can transmute it and move through it like that. So yeah, I hope that helps my loves. I love you all and I will see you in the next one.